why backup and redundancy are not the same. That's coming up next in the E911 Talk podcast, episode 239, recorded on Sunday, March 22nd, 2015, right here on APN, the Avaya Podcast Network. You're listening to the Avaya Podcast Network. Now, here's your host, Mark Fletcher. When we think about levels of reliability in networks, we typically calculate that by measuring the nines. But what exactly does that mean? One of the most common ratings that you'll hear is five nines reliability. Well, quite simply, that means that the amount of uptime that's expected is to be 99.999%. Now, while that sounds like a lot, it actually is as it only allows for a little more than five minutes of downtime in a year. So what's the problem? Well, the problem is that although many people like to throw nines around like they're going out of style, the fact of the matter is if the network is not properly engineered, you're probably not getting what you think. Now, a good example of this happened just this morning when at 8.45 a.m. an OC12 telecom circuit went down that affected 911 calls to the Central Dispatch 911 Center at Montcalm County Central Dispatch in Michigan. Now, fortunately, Central Dispatch had a backup plan in place and had all of their 911 calls immediately forwarded to Gradiac County Central Dispatch, where the calls were answered and the information was passed to Montcalm County via radio. Now, if you do the math, once that the OC-12 was repaired, which was about at 11 a.m., it had accounted for 135 minutes of failure. And based on 525,600 minutes a year, Their uptime percentage had been reduced from 99.999% to 99.974%, which is just under four nines. And that's if they have no additional outages for the remainder of the year. But hang on a second, if they had a backup plan in place and the backup plan worked, how did they get penalized for this? Well, the answer is simple. Since they were not directly getting the calls, their network was technically down. Now, while the county had a backup plan in place, if they wanted to maintain a true five nines environment, they should have had redundancy in place and not just a backup. Jean Terjean, otherwise known as JT, who's the vice president of software defined networks and chief technologist at Avaya, likes to use airplanes when talking about backup, redundancy, active active failover, and single points of failure. Now, personally, I think it does a great job at visualizing the problem. Let's say you have an airliner that has four engines but it's capable of flying at full capacity with only two of those engines running. As long as all four engines are running, you have a redundant source of power. Now, if that same airplane were unable to fly unimpaired with only two engines running, but it was still able to fly, then you would have a backup. Thinking about that exact same scenario, if you could fly with only two engines, you don't leave two of them off and then turn them on should the other ones fail. You run all four of them. And that way, should you have a problem, you're able to deal with the situation at whatever degree the remaining two engines provide. Now, full disclosure here, Avaya doesn't build airplanes, but we do understand mission critical communications. And I know how to engineer a network to provide the service level required to deliver the functionality that I've signed up for. There's a new base knowledge set that's becoming required learning in almost every industry. In fact, I'm not sure I can think of a line of business that did not have a CIO or CTO thought leader calling the shots on how technology will keep their company top of mind and running. Now, you would think that some of those same constructs are valid for public safety, given the mission criticality of its line of business. Like the internet and IP technology, these problems are not new. In fact, they're well vetted across the industry as commercial entities were forced to deal with these problems in order to survive. Now, fortunately, these same thoughts and ideas are now becoming more prevalent in public safety and its leaders, both old and new, and at the highest levels in our government policymakers. Case in point is the Task Force for Optimized PSAP Architecture that FCC Commissioner Michael O'Reilly initiated that's taking a fresh look at public safety from the top down and from the bottom up and not taking anything for granted. In fact, his charge to this esteemed group of thought leaders was to build it as if it were brand new, knowing what you know today. I can tell you it's a real honor to be on that committee. And as we continue our subcommittee meetings in preparation for the next full committee meeting of the TFOPA, I'm sure that the differences between redundancy and backup in Montcalm County will be a point of discussion. For the 911 Talk podcast, this is Fletch. Thanks for listening. And we'll catch you next time right here on APN, the Avaya Podcast Network.
The preceding podcast has been brought to you by the Avaya Podcast Network. I'm Spider Harrison, the official voice dude of APN. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at Avaya underscore APN and check us out on the web at avaya.com slash APN. 